Hey, good day, YouTubers. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, flavor your spirits with uh, oak wood chips and uh, spirit essence. And I'm going to make uh, a honey bourbon. I'll show you a quick a couple of flavors I've got. That's just the essence. So yeah, we got the honey bourbon, which is made by Stall Spirits. Uh, we got blended whiskey, which is made by Stall Spirits as well. Yeah, we got a Edwards whiskey. Uh, it's a Kentucky bourbon, super uh, smooth Kentucky bourbon. And we got a, a Jamaican rum, which is made by Spirits Unlimited. That can make up to five liters. It's a 50 ml bottle. Here we got another one which is the H Brandy Spirits uh, Unlimited is the make and it also makes 5 liters. Now the honey bourbon that's the one I'm going to make today that's made by Still Spirits it's, it's new on the market um, it's just a spirits essence um, it says mixing instructions mix this essence with one cup 250 grams of sugar and 2 liters or uh, 2 years called um, of 40% ABV distilled spirit or vodka stir to dissolve makes uh, 3 750 milliliter bottles uh, very sugar to taste but instead of sugar I'm going to use honey uh, I reckon it will go pretty good with the honey bourbon uh, essence. It's just normal spirit essence, 50 milliliter bottle. And yeah, just add it to two, two liters of spirits. So I'll just put this uh, spirits essence down. Get it out of the way. Yeah, I've got a, a whole bottle of vodka which has already been watered down I just use a normal Brita uh, filter system and this is just a filter that co goes in the inside it's a carbon filter and you just pour your water in and it drips through at the bottom catches the, the water um, I normally water my spirits down to about 40% before I put it through the filter. Yeah, I got 200 milliliters of pure honey, and I already got some spirits that's been uh, filtered. This is two liters of spirits that are aged with some oak for three days. I'll just show you that quick. I don't know if you can see this, but this has been sitting in, in chips for about three days. So that's just the oak chips. Nothing else has been added at this stage. It's just clean white spirits uh, with the oak chips. And then it colors it to this color. Really nice. You can leave it for longer. Um... So that's, that's the spirits, yeah, it looks, just before you put in the oak chips, it will look at color that comes out of the still or just pure vodka that you buy. Um, the chips I'm using is American Barrel Oak. It's just plain chips. It's just oak chips. And the recommendations is Five grams to a liter for three to five days. Or you can use between five gram or twenty gram per liter 
of the oat chips. Now pre boil the kettle just to add it to a little bit of the honey just to soften it up. So I'm going to put about between 50 ml and 100 ml water to it. And just give it a bit of a stir. You don't want it too hot, it's just to make the honey a little bit runny. Just dissolve it properly. Make sure it's not too hot. Now I use this Carboys a 5 gallons. And I'll just take a little bit of the spirit that I aged with some of the oak. Um, just add it to some of the honey. Just to pre mix it a bit more. Just turn it down. So it's 200 ml of pure honey, about 100 ml of boiling water to soften it up, and 2 litres of spirits. I'll just pour this in the cowboy. I'll put the jump on the side. And we'll get a rest of the spirits in it. Trying not to mess. I use a demi jam to uh, pour the spirits in. It's easier to make to mix it up after you add all your spirits. Now that was just the uh, plain vodka that was infused with the oak chips. And that's two liters of that with a cup of honey. I'll do that one side. Close it up. Give it a bit of a shake. So at this stage it's just the spirits that's been matured with the uh, oak chips and honey. And it looks that colour. So I'll bring it a little bit closer. It's a little bit hazy. It will settle down after a couple of days. It's really yummy. So now I just gotta go and uh, measure this. I've got to add this whole bottle, 50 mils, sorry about it, but uh, I weren't quite prepared for this. I've uh, got to add this whole top shelf honey bourbon spirit essence to the honey uh, mixture. That's all in there. And we'll give it another shake. Get 
give it a really good shake, make sure all the honey dissolves and the essence. And then once you've done all the shaking out of it, uh, here's the final one. You can bottle it, and put a label on the bottle, honey bourbon, and let it age for about a week in the bottle. It just uh, makes the essence infuse better with the alcohol and the flavour will improve. So that will clear down a bit. Now what I also do is uh, I'm going to show you this is just a, a normal coffee machine percolate the machine with uh, uh, its nylon filter. I, I use a little paper filter in it as well. So uh, I put the filter in a glass jar just like that. Fits glass in. And what I'm going to do now, I might use a bigger jar for this. Put a filter on top of the jar. These jars I buy them from the reject shop or you can buy it from a dollar shop or something. So this is the, the alcohol that's been sitting in the oak wood chips for about three days that I'm just going to put through the filter. So it's just to show you how I do it. So just filtering it. And it doesn't take long to filter through. The rest of the wood chips, I just put it in a plastic bag and I'll put it in the freezer for next time when I have a barbecue with my Weber or so and I'll use the same wood chips and put it in a smoke box to uh, get a nice smoky flavour for fish or pork spare ribs or any other meat you want to smoke and yeah that's all I can say Thanks for watching.